from the studio that brought you Cyberpunk 2077 and the various apologies for Cyberpunk 2077. I and the entire leadership team are deeply sorry for this. Comes another attempt at Cyberpunk 2077. But don't worry everyone, they totally fixed all the bugs. Well, almost. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty Revisit the game that disappointed you three years ago, except it's been spruced up by the best ripper doc in town. And no one will shut up about how it's actually good now, which probably feels like a nice change to CD Projekt Red, since the last time people wouldn't stop talking about Cyberpunk. It's because it was plagued with more bugs than a literal plague of bugs. Dive back into Night City once again as V. A badass merc with a terminal case of imaginary friend. Never mind the testicles. Tell him to keep those hands at ten and two. Who must face down futuristic terrors in the new story of Phantom Liberty, like AI-powered global destruction, whether or not we can trust the government, and not being able to romance a sexy holographic waifu. This really is a dystopia. Then reenact the plot of Escape from New York in this love letter to cheesy 80s action flicks. Except instead of rescuing President Donald Pleasance, you've got a liberal boomer's idea of what Hillary Clinton gets up to in her spare time. <laughs> then play buddy cop with Fed turned bouncer Idris Elba, who's doing what he does best. No, not DJing. Speaking so you can't tell whether or not he's trying to sound American. Kill two innocent local runners. I have zero sympathy for this piece of shit. Didn't he sound way more American than this in The Wire? You taking notes on a criminal conspiracy? What you thinking, man? And he sounds way more British than this normally, right? Don't come in with your English accent. It doesn't sound very. You audition? Is this a character voice? Is it just bad voice direction? How is this the biggest mystery in the whole game? Together, you'll take on the mean streets of Dogtown, Night City's newest neighborhood, which is full of brand new tests of your skills. Unless you're one of those freaks who managed to complete the game when it came out the first time. In which case, just go back to beating off guys with your massive dildo club like you're Andre the Giant at a sex store. In an over-leveled massacre so one-sided that you'll almost start to feel bad for mowing these dummies down. <laughs> okay, not really. Dive back into Cyberpunk 2077 with refreshed robo-eyes. As CDPR improves their perk systems and AI, adding a bunch of different powers, some sweet Witcher-themed content, and a boosted cyberware system that lets you get more shiny in Chrome than Fury Road. But most importantly, throwing in a bunch of mechanics from Edge Runner so that you can be in your feelings while you add points to your trades. <laughs> I'm not crying. They're just cutting cyber onions somewhere. I'm sorry. Once you've cleaned yourself up, suffer through another newly added feature, vehicular combat, which forces you to aim a gun while driving and is about as challenging as texting behind the wheel with a slightly lower body count. Of course, if you're getting really frustrated, you can always give up and get out of the car. Sorry guys, I'm just being a responsible driver. And that means keeping my hands at 10 and 2 and always keeping the camera in third person. You know, the driving challenges aren't great, but it could be worse. It's not like they added a water level or anything. Oh, you wet son of a bitch. So strap on your net running suit, toggle nudity off before hitting that go live button, and get ready to play through the best comeback since No Man's Sky in a stellar RPG experience that finally lives up to the cyberpunk name with an intriguing story, compelling characters, and deeply fun combat while providing an experience that a lot of AAA releases can only dream of. A game that actually works. Sure, it took years, but that's still a better track record than most of EA's catalog. Starring V2.0, John Dick, Freebird, Saul Goodman, All the President's Cybermen, CGI Joe, The French, Shapeshifter, I Hardly Know Her, All the Characters You Were Supposed to Meet Three Years Ago, and Grimes doing even more grime stuff. Cyberpunk 2077, but for real this time, we swear. You know, honestly, this game is great for my anxiety. My ridiculous fashion sense makes me fit in. My terrible driving is inconsequential. And all my friends reply to my text immediately. 
Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. Terrifier 2 and Gollum may not have much in common, but they both killed Art. I wonder what Goombas taste like. This isn't a skill issue. I choose to be this bad. Exodia. Obliterate. My name is Batman. You kill my parents. Prepare for blunt force facial reconstruction surgery.